technology, the truth. Here's hoping you all had a fantastic Christmas and a very happy new year. Now, on Christmas morning, on you know, a lot of people out there probably opened uh, their Christmas presents to one of these, like a, a mini quad or one of these, which is a build your own mini quad from uh, Lego. So yeah, we are going to be um, taking these out of the box and just showing what kind of features that, that both these mini quads uh, use and some of the fun that you can have with these mini quads. Okay guys, so first we're gonna start off with the mini quad. Uh, three stage sensitivity settings for easy control, red five, quadcopter. Uh, so that, yeah, we'll just have a couple look at some of the things on, that does sort of say on the box, because it, sometimes it is funny. 3D flip mode, LED lights, shockproof function. There's a shockproof function on it. I think that means there's bits of plastic uh, around the propellers. Technical specifications, model mini quad. Five channel radio transmitter, built in rechargeable battery, control distance approximately 50 meters. That's not too bad. Uh, charging time approximately 45 to 60 minutes. Uh, you know, for a, for a 500, what is it? It's a 300 milliamp hour battery. That's that's a bit crap, um, but never mind. Flying time, approximately seven minutes. I can confirm. I have tried this before, obviously. I can confirm, yeah, you will get seven minutes out of it, to be fair. Um, it is quite efficient. Uh, what it includes is the mini quad, the USB charger, instruction manuals, and, yeah, spare blade, set of blades. So let's get her out. So this was from a charity shop. Um... But yeah, I'm pretty sure that, you know, most people have probably got something like this for a Christmas present. Take our... There we go. And... This is the battery that you get with it, a little 300 milliamp hour battery. So, all we do is we switch our transmitter on. Plop in our battery. Turn it on. And then we need to go full throttle, then back again. And then we're armed, ready to go. And here is our build a brick drone. Uh, it's basically a Lego drone. You get your flight controller, your receiver, um, and your ESCs all in one little pod. Uh, your motors in separate little pods, and then you basically you can build your own frame. That you want. This is also from a charity shop, um, but yeah, again, I think I paid six ninety nine for this. But everything was brand new in the box, never touched before, other than you know someone's obviously built it and then not flown it because uh, yeah, that's that's how it came in the box basically. We've got our charger and here's our battery. What have we got? Wow, six six hundred milliamp hour battery that is. So that should last a lot longer. So we'll put that on charge now and then we'll start building. As you can see, here's our flight controller and receiver and then the motors just independently plug in. So you can obviously um, do different things with each of the motors. Just making sure that each motor is condescending to where it should be. Front, so these are our front two props. This one. So what did, I will tell you what happened. As soon as I brought it home, I built it up, flew it round. Um, <laughs> I flew it round for a bit and it was, you know what, very, very stable. Um, but this is what the thing what happens with quadcopters and drones like this. Eventually, you do crash them. And when you crash a normal drone that's made out of carbon fibre or, you know, uh, as fossil stuffs are made out of HDPE, um, they just bounce. They either bounce, they cartwheel, they stay in one piece, you pick it up, you disconnect your battery, you check everything's fine, then you take it out for a fly. This thing, I can only describe, exploded. It, the noise it made was phenomenal. It sounded like a vase had, <laughs> sounded like a vase had been dropped somewhere, and it absolutely made me jump out my seat. So now this doesn't seem to have an arm function because I think you can flash beta flight onto these. Um, because whoever's flashed the flight mode on it at the moment hasn't done a great job at flashing the rudder because when you push the rudder it seems to want to jump up but yeah there we go
Well, that is a Lego drone. A drone made on Lego. That not more than two minutes ago was, you know, smashed into a couple of pieces. So, hey guys, we're back with the Build Your Own Brick drone. And what have I built with it? Well, I have built... I built my own little Inductrix uh, switch air, I think you could call it. So what I basically did is just took some foam board, made myself a wing, a tail, and cut some holes in it for, you know, some, some space for the air to flow through. We stuck the back two props at 45 degrees, and uh, yeah, the flight control is just there in the middle, in the middle of the centre of gravity. Put some fins on it, and let's take it out for a fly. So hopefully, um, if the weather outside calms down, hopefully I'll take this out for a fly on the field later. But we'll just give it a little test, a test flight inside the house and see, you know, how well it does actually fly. Oh! It wants to go... Oh, it wants to go forward. Whoa! <laughs> Cheers. You ready? Yep. Whoa! You've got to be constantly pulling all the way back because uh, those props at 45 degrees, they really want they're really ready for um, it to go forward. <laughs> Look at that though! It's That's like a spaceship. awesome! I'm barely, barely putting any extra throttle on it. I've got a feeling this will carry an FPV camera, no problem. You get a full on shot of those eyes. I bet you if I try, it's, the sun's going down now, but if I try and take it outside tomorrow, it should fly okay. Whee! Oh, running low on battery, I think. Right, so I figured out the reason why it was doing the weird skipping thing outside. It's because our right back motor was coming loose and it was making it yaw. And that is now much more stable. So there we go guys, we had some fantastic fun with the uh, Red 5 Builder Brick drone. I'm going to be uh, keeping this for the future. Definitely, definitely keeping this because I've got a few more ideas what we can do with this thing and, you know, the motors and the flight controller inside it. But, to my subscribers, I'm going to be giving the Mini Quad 2 uh, Red 5 away. So if you want this, if you want to win this, uh, subscribe to my channel and by the, this time the end of next month, uh, I'll pick a subscriber and, uh, yeah, you can win this. Work. So uh, thank you very much for joining us today, guys. If you like this content, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It's just up there and if you'd like to see any more of my videos i'll put one down here and i'll put another one just down there thank you very much and i'll see you next time the truth